Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain how to install software through GPO. This is part one of a two-part video. Well, two-part series. The second part is more interesting. That's how to uninstall software via GPO. And there are three ways to do that. But first, we've got to set it up. So let's uh, show you how to do that. Well, I have a brand new environment here. This is server 2022, but it could be server 19, could be server 2016, could be server 2012. It's all the same. This has been in place, far as I recall, all the way back to server 2000. And yep, I've been using it since then. All right, let's get to it. All I've done so far without you here is download Notepad++ and I made sure it was an MSI version. And what I mean by that is the Microsoft installer. I put it in a folder that I cleverly call distribution and there it is. And the only thing I did that uh, isn't completely obvious is I went into this folder and I set the sharing to distribution. I like putting a dollar sign at the end because it makes it hidden. You don't have to, it doesn't make any difference. And you'll see why that's important in a minute. This path is important. First thing we want to do is start group policy. And what I want to do is create a new group policy. And where do I want to apply it? Do I want to apply it to the whole domain or just users or just some computers? In this case, I just want to apply it to certain computers. So I have an OU called Office One Computers. Let's go in there, right click, create, a GPO in this domain and link it here. Pretty straightforward. That's what I'm going to call Notepad. Go OK. And then I'm going to right click on that and select Edit. And where we go into the policy is right here. This is a computer policy we want to set. Policies and software, then software installation. And this is where it gets moderately interesting. Right click and select New Package. New package, you think, well, I'll just point to this uh, folder. I'll just point to, well, where the product is, which is C distribution notepad. The problem with that is not everybody has access to that path. So that's not going to work. So no, I don't want to do that. So let's right click new package. I need to point it to the network share, which was the name of the domain controller. Or the Well, it happens to be domain controller, but the name of the server. In this case, it's cleverly called DCA distribution dollar. It's exactly the same file, but uh, this is on an SMB share rather than pointing to the local file. Okay, now we've got three options here. Published, assigned, advanced. Why is published grayed out? Because published simply lists the product as available to be installed. And we don't want to do that. That's only available if you're deploying things to users. I'm deploying to the computer. So that's why that's grayed out. Then we have the choice of assigned or advanced. And really there's no difference here other than there's some settings in advance that we'll go into in a second, but you can get to it either way. So if I go into here and I click OK, it just brings the, the settings up for me. Let's just click assigned because that's the easiest way. And then double click and that takes you what, to what you'd see in the other option, advanced. For most situations, there's really only two settings you might want to change normally, possibly three. Let's go through it. On the deployment tab, this checkbox, uninstall this application when it falls out of the scope. That means when this GPO is no longer applied to this computer or person, in this case computer, it should uninstall. Now, the good news is if you didn't do this already and you've deployed software, you can go into your GPO, turn this on, wait a while for all of the machines that have this policy to get the updated policy, which includes that check mark. So you don't have to worry about doing that right at the start. You can do it afterwards. The other one is advanced. A lot of software requires you to set a language. This one doesn't, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to leave it uh, blank. Upgrades. This is if you have a previous version, you're going from, for, say, version 2 to version 3 or 1.1 to 1.2 or whatever. There's a different package in here that you want to upgrade. You can do it here. Not very challenging. Categories. Why is this all grayed out? Again, because this is just for published apps. We're not publishing the app, we're actually deploying it. And that's that difference between pushing it to the computer forcibly or having the user decide if they want it. Last thing here is modifications. And modifications, these are for MSTs, which are called transforms. If you have a transform, super common if you're dealing with uh, deploying Microsoft Office, you know, with configurations or things like that, yes, then you may have a transform. Most people don't. I'm not going to make any changes, so I'm going to click cancel here. Now let's go look at this computer. The policy is deployed to Office computers, and this computer right here, PCB, is in that OU. There it is. 
Why isn't it installed? Where's Notepad? It's not there. What's going on? Well, that's because you have to force an update onto this computer. Or you can let it sit for a few hours and it'll sync up by itself. But either way, it's going to require a reboot because it's being pushed to the computer. I can force a GP update. I can do a GP update slash force, but in the end, it's just going to tell me I need to restart. So I'm going to save the effort and just restart. Hey, we're back. Now let's take a look and see if Notepad++ is there. Often new software will show up in Windows 11 right here under recommended, but sometimes it doesn't. Now, uh, also, sometimes it takes a few minutes to install beyond what you would expect. So if it's not there instantly, just reboot again or wait another few minutes. There it is. It's happy. So I go into it and I can use it. And let's close it now. In the top right hand corner of the screen, I'll put a link to the second part of this video, which is how to uninstall software using GPO. And there are three ways to do that. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. Very much appreciated. Helpful with the Google algorithms. Also, subscribes greatly appreciated. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of us always directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question in a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.